So here's how you plan out your Friday. Again, those winds can gust upwards of 20 miles per hour, 38 at noon. 39 and 4. We're not moving all that much. We'll see if we can squeeze in any peaks of sunshine before the day is done. Overnight tonight, though, this is when the clouds really will clear away. Mostly clear. Temperatures then dipping back into the mid 20s. So tomorrow for your Saturday, we're going to start off with some sunshine. It just still will be on the chilly side, but all throughout the day, we're going to continue to gain cloud cover. And then as we get towards sunset and beyond, this is when we'll introduce our rain. Rain will stay with us. We can see some heavy downpours in this throughout the overnight hours and right into Sunday morning. This is when the main area of rainfall will be with us and then a cold front moves through and it starts to uh, become more scattered in fashion. But we could even sprinkle in some snowflakes. Notice how tight these white lines are packed together. That's those wind gusts as we could have wind gusts upwards of 40 to 50 miles per hour. These are actually our pressure gradients and the closer they are together, the higher our winds will be. So definitely Saturday night into Sunday, hunker down. It's uh, going to feel a little raw out there as we have uh, rain totals upwards of one to one and a quarter inches from Saturday night into Sunday. So here's a look at the next three days. Buckle up. We're on a little bit of a temperature roller coaster here. 45 tomorrow. 52 on Sundays where we start warm southerly breeze, but then as that cold front comes through, we're going to drop into the 40s and 30s. Stay in the 40s on Monday. We could see some snow flurries even continuing into Tuesday and then next week. Once we hit Wednesday, we'll slowly rebound those temperatures back to 53 and sunshine on Thursday.